Hello everybody, welcome to this week's update video. My name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Um, apologies for this late video, this was actually planned to be late because I was waiting for the Inkscape developer meeting to conclude, which it has just done. And I'm happy to announce that Inkscape is scheduled for release. Uh, Mark is building the release candidate today, and that means that Inkscape will be released in one week's time. This is 1.3 will be released in one week's time, assuming that we don't have any other catastrophic issues. But we have a very confident developer team that is very happy with the stability that, that we currently have. And while Inkscape is never per perfect, it, we have definitely fixed a lot of stuff. So um, thank you to everybody who's been involved in the 1.3 release, who has been testing stuff. You guys have been awesome, especially those, my patrons, who put the extra effort in to test the beta and report to me the issues so I could get them fixed for you. Um, speaking of my spons sponsors, as usual, I want to give a big shout, shout out, a big thank you to everybody who sponsors me on Patreon. You guys absolutely rock. I would not be able to spend the amount of time that I do on Inkscape if it wasn't for your help. Um, if you would like to jo join them, please consider going to either pa Patreon or going to LibrePay and helping me out. Okay, so let's get into some of the actual meat of the work. Um, so to push the 1.3, first of all, um, me and my Mykov did a tag team on the clipboard fun functionality. Basically, we were missing clipboard fun functionality. We didn't understand why. Um, his part was to basically figure out why on macOS and Windows there was not pasting happening between Inkscape and other pro programs. He worked out that uh, macOS and Windows don't use MIME types, so their files only use the file detection, i.e. what the extension is. Um, for my part, I fixed the raster exporting. So this is where Inkscape technically can produce JPEGs and uh, WebP and GIF files and so on, but none of those were available to the clip clipboard because there was just a note in the code that says, some other developer in the future, please add this fun functionality. And so uh, basically we patched bo both of those things so that Inkscape is now capable of pasting in Mac OS and Windows and Linux uh, a whole bunch of new for formats and hopefully it should work much, much better. Um, some of the other things that we that I managed to work, work on myself was uh, updating ex ex extensions for for 1.3, including tag, tagging it, uh, removing a duplicate diamond pattern from our patterns very last minute, uh, adding a missing clip and mask icon to the layers and objects di dialog. Basically, this this particular icon was if you had both a mask and a clip assigned to an object, it wouldn't show either clipping or masking. So an extra icon was necessary and fixing the code. Um, I fixed a bad mar marker and also the marker's code that was stripping out, um, basically it was stripping out the size inf information so that when you put the marker on in Inkscape it appeared okay, but then when you open the SVG file in Firefox or some other pro program, the marker was nowhere to be seen because the view box was basically broken uh, and Inkscape was just trashing whatever was there. Um, that's all been fixed. Uh, fixed the, the, the bounding box calculations when it comes to uh, stroke widths, uh, where you basically had a stroke width that was almost the entire thing. We were doing the wrong thing. This was a collaboration with PBS. Thank you so, so much for help, helping me fix that. Uh, we should have much better bounding box calculations now for, for 1.3. Uh, we did a full rundown for the check checklist for everything necessary for the release. This comes from extensions, documentation, website stuff, and a whole bunch of other things. Um, as I mentioned la last last week, I've been working with Khabir. We have published the new website design. Uh, there are still fixes to happen. It's a bit of a uh, evolving pro process, but go check it out. Uh, one reviewer says, oh my God, it's white. It's so white. Oh my God, it's bright. My eyes, my eyes, they're burning. And I fully appreciate the fact that Inkscape website does not have a dark mode, but at least it does work on mobile now, which is okay, I guess, because Inkscape itself does not work on your mobile, but at least you'll be able to use the website. Okay. Um, these are things that I fixed that are scheduled for 1.3.1. This is essentially a point release that's going to happen in probably four months time, but it includes a bunch of fixes and things that will either crop up after the release or have cropped up since. And we don't just don't have time to fit them in the actual release itself. Um, first is a, is a small feature improvement to, to the pages, a resizer. At the moment, it always uses the visual box, but there is actually a, a, an option in Inkscape to 
specify either using the geometric boundary box or the visual boundary box. The visual is the default. Uh, people who like using the ge geometric box were frustrated that the page re resizer could no longer resize to that ge geometric box that has been fixed. Um, a fix for the path out 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 outliner. This is to do with stylings. Um, it was doing that thing where it would include every single style un under the sun because the style ha handler was just wrong. Um, there's a fix for uh, uh, text. When you converted a text that had a T-span inside of a T-span, it would lose the style information for that for that second round of T-spans. And so you would end up converting a, a piece of SVG text into a path or a path outline. And th some of the text would turn black, for example. Uh, and that was simply because our calculations for how the styling um, was... Uh, recreated when it recreated those objects as paths was just broken and that has been fixed those those fixes are all going in for 1.3.1 things for 1.4 this is the version that hopefully will be released next year uh, as well as the gtk4 stuff that a lot of other developers are work, working on to make inkscape rock for 1.4 uh, the fracture raster images feature that I uh, mentioned a few weeks back. I've been continuing to evolve that. Uh, there's a whole bunch of fixes necessary uh, that were re reported by PBS and, and, and Adam. Um, I fixed those essentially by um, making sure that the way we use clones and the way that we can re-edit those clones is consistent. This is more about user experience te testing and making sure that where what a user expects to happen will actually happen. Uh, that branch is mostly finished now and it's going to hopefully be merged in. Um, I've been also keeping the connectors branch uh, live. Now for uh, folks that are new that haven't watched previous update videos, I have a connectors branch that essentially introduces Visio-like uh, line connectors into Inkscape and I've been holding this branch for two years now, one year and a half. It's a lot, it's too long, it's too long. And it, I, I brought it up to date with the latest version for, for 1.4, um, but I'm desperate to find a corporate sponsor that can um, allow me to finish the work because I don't want the, the initial work that we did to go to waste. Um, and I think that the, the, the Visio and Connectors improve improvements are, um, it's, it's just an awesome feature. Um, there's been some bit rot in, in the meantime, some of the fun functionality has regressed, unfortunately. So it's going to need work to get it up to ship. Um, but if you are a business and you are interested in connectors, especially if you're interested in Visio-like stuff, functionality being inside of Inkscape, uh, please get in touch. I'm interested in being sponsored. Okay. Um, now let's move on to Inkscape stuff. This is features and fixes that I didn't do myself because Inkscape has a wide variety of volunteers. Um, Rene has been dealing with the Ghost Script security vulnerability. Uh, there's a particular nasty security vulnerability in Ghost Script. Most operating systems, Inkscape does not ship GhostScript. I cannot emphasize this strongly enough because news reports have been saying that Inkscape has a security vulnerability because we ship GhostScript. We do not ship GhostScript, except on macOS. Okay, so that's why Rene has been de dealing with it since he does the macOS stuff. Windows, we don't ship GhostScript at all. And on Linux, we use whatever GhostScript is available on the operating system. So your operating system security bug fixes will suffice. Uh, Rene has patched um, 1.3, so the 1.3 release will be fixed um, and secure. He doesn't have the time to be able to fix 1.2.2, so there won't be a fix for that. If you you really, really, really shouldn't open any EPS files at all or PostScript files on macOS until you have that fix because the security bug is very bad. Um, PBS has actually been work, work, working on a bunch of security, um, not security, he's been working on a bunch of rendering issues for 1.3. He's fixed a whole bunch of stuff to make sure that the, this release can happen. Um, he's got one fix that's being pushed out to 1.3.1, and I think this is worth bearing in mind. This is the Shape Builder tool and other Boolean op operations when you're dealing with arcs, i.e. circles. Uh, at the moment, Inkscape produces an, a lot of extra nodes. It's basically bisecting the cir circle into loads and loads of nodes. Um, he's fixed that, so the shapes are now two or three or four nodes large. Um, but unfortunately, the change is too drastic and too close to, to the line to, to get it in. So that's going to be pushed out to 1.3.1. 1, 1 um, but it's an awesome improve, improvement. It really is. Um, and then just a general report from the GTK4 work. Tav reported today that the uh, GTK4 
uh, branches and the um, migration is happening. Um, it's going to be a long road, but when it happens, it's going to be uh, very awesome for our renderer. Hopefully, we'll be able to move to OpenGL when that happens. Okay. Um, this video has been very, very long. Again, I apologize. And uh, please let me know in the comments be below if you are uh, excited for the 1.3 release. I remind you, it'll be one week, hopefully. Um, also, I'm thinking of doing a release video myself. Um, we haven't, we don't have a release video in Inkscape this 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 year because of some conflict uh, to do with paying a person to make a video. Um, but we don't know whether the volunteer that's been working on a release video will be able to finish it. So I'm thinking I might do one myself. Of course, if I do one, it's going to be humorous because that's kind of the video style that I go for when I do some of these things. Um, if you have an objection to me making a funny video, put it in the comment below. I want to hear no complaints if I make a funny video and you, you've had your time to make to, to say what you want to say. Okay. Uh, thank you all for watching. And I will see you all next week.